I want to say shout out to uh, Big Joe for giving me this idea. I think he streams mostly, but uh, he does YouTube too. So uh, I'll leave both his links in the description and uh, yeah, check him out if you want. He gave me the idea for this video, but he also like wanted to make this video as well. Um, and uh, he wanted to race me to see who could make it fast. He made it fast, so I mean, if you want a second opinion on this, or if you think I'm dumb for, for my choices, then you can go over to his channel, check his video out, and... Uh, yeah, anyway, so what it's going to be is, it's not the best uh, the best move for every weapon. So I'm not talking about like, oh, what's the best on bow? Um, it's going to be, what's the best weapon for every move? So what's the best D-Light in the game? What's the best N-Light in the game? Etc, uh, etc. Et and uh, I thought I'd start with D-Light. And uh, probably, I'll, actually, I'll give a runner-up as well, because it's going to be pretty hard. I've like written down runner-ups for all of them too. Because I think just picking one move, uh, or one weapon for each move is pretty difficult. So, um... Yeah, we got uh, D light fast, and I peaked Yumiko. I think it's pretty clear what the uh, <laughs> what the weapons are going to be. Bow D light is probably the best move in the game. It, it's ridiculous. It, it true combos into like everything. I should probably turn stun on, but yeah, it true combos into everything. If you're not bad, uh, sa na um, recovery, literally everything. And like, it's just dumb. Like it, it is just dumb. And the amount of time, you can't punish this move either. It has like so probably the biggest range in the game, right? With just such a dumb hitbox. Okay, so like if we look at the hitbox, uh, if I turn hitboxes on, and we look at the hitbox of D-Light, I do not know what's going on. It has, like, what is this? It, it basically, it nearly hits like, it hits close and it has a massive hitbox from far away. Uh, also, because of like all the aerial things, you can actually like GC this and still hit it, like very consistently. It's just yeah, like coming back onto stage, it's always an option to just GC a D light. And I don't know, is th this move just dumb? It also, you can literally jump out of end lag. Like <laughs> there is an end lag on this weapon. You can't punish it. It hits from so far away, and you know, it's really just not much risk at all to throwing out this move on bow. I think it's I think it's really insane with obviously. A lot of follow-ups and even night like, killing potential. Obviously quite late, but still killing potential. I think runner-up, though, and obviously one of the Yumiko. Gotta be Hammer. It, another D-Light that's just so easy to hit. Like, the fact that this hits, right? Or maybe if I just inch. Like, <sighs> it doesn't make sense. It you combos into, like, side light. It you combos into dare, which, you know, easy juggles. Yeah, we'll talk about Hammer now. We'll get into that. Uh, obviously, I uh, like later health, so it'll true combo into into Ser. It's just dumb. GC, it'll true combo into a, into a Nair. Uh, I just messed it up, but you know. True combos into recovery. Like, it hits over the edge like this. And, uh, you know, if someone is coming back to stage, I'll try and show it off. But, like, if someone's trying to get back up to stage, you can just D-Light over the edge. And you can catch them, like, 99% of the time. Also, for gravity cancels, I should probably turn health a little bit up just to show off some more hammer stuff. But... For a gravity cancel, yeah, no, it's insane. Um, it's a, it's always a mix-up. You can go in that spot dodge, see what your opponent does. If they whiff an attack or if they just don't really do anything, you can just GC D-Light out of the spot dodge and get a lot get a lot of stuff. It's it's just a dumb move. And, uh, yeah, it, it kills very easily. It's like, it's just bow D-Light over less range, honestly. True combos into anything has good kill potential. Way better than bow D-Light, obviously, because bow kills decently late. But yeah, has a has a bit less uh, a bit less range. Also, though, comes out like instantly, so it doesn't really matter about the range because it, it comes out as quick as it does. Like it, it's just yeah, hammer D light. I said we talk about hammer now, and uh, yeah, if we just if we just take a little a little peek, at this hitbox. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What is that? What is that hitbox? Why is that a thing that exists in this game? The fact that it also hits grounded is, is something that I, I'll never understand. Like, why it has this entire front bit of the hitbox there, I don't know. And then, yeah, it has this, which is just... It's honestly, like, the amount of damage this move does as well. It's so unbelievably easy to juggle with this move. And it does so much damage. To okay, hold on. Let's rewind. Let let's just rewind. This hits, okay? This hits. I nerd in the wrong place, it doesn't matter. Hits. Like, uh, uh, yeah, hammer, hammer nerd. Also, if we look at damage, like I was saying, it does, yeah, it, it does a lot. 
I don't even know what to say. There we go. 20 damage for one there. So say you do like this, this, this. Uh, maybe you hit one more once they're coming down. That's that's what that does. 25. So that's 25, 20, 20, like 65, right? Mass. It's 89 a.m. Leave me alone. But yeah, that's uh, it, it's a, it's a bit insane. But uh, we're on Cassidy, so you know the next weapon. Okay, maybe not, not that one. That's the same weapon. But Blasters now. I actually think... Uh, I think this might be the only entry Blasters has. Because it's not the strongest of weapons. But like, in any, like... You know, the weapon's really strong because of its potential to space. And obviously to juggle because of there. But it's not strong in, like, one area. It's just that everything kind of comes together to make this weapon work. And, um... Yeah, now is one of those things, like... The amount of things you can do with this move is, is pretty insane. You know, X pivot in. If it didn't have X pivot in, I'd probably put cannon there above it. But yeah, it, it, it does. So you can do things like this. You can like wall cancel it where you can like X pivot off the wall like that and just stop an edge guard like instantly. Um, you can obviously like fast fall X pivot and cover like really low. I'm fast falling a bit too hard there, but you can see what I'm trying to do. Um, then obviously you can just do a normal X pivot like that. You know, cover like loads of different spaces and the hitbox is pretty big too. Uh, obviously they come out separately so you want to be hitting that back one because it comes out first but yeah it's uh, it's pretty good. Two frames, I think it's actually one frame out of end light. So yeah easy juggles too, like very very easy juggles and it's honestly it's just it's just a really good move. Uh, shoot combos out of a lot of things. Um, at later helps it will shoot combo out of a side light. I'll try and show that off like, like that maybe. <laughs> Maybe not like that, that's one frame, but uh, yeah, she comes out of side light, out of D light as well. Just a solid move, honestly, really, probably one of the best uh, juggle tools in the entire game. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for Nair. Okay, on to Sair. Um, best Sair in the game, it, it's got to be Guitar Sair. Uh, like, post-patch, right, it got like, I think it got an increased hitbox, it got increased force, and it also has like, a lot of increased momentum. It's this bottom hitbox though that is like okay for okay this is just a wall right, but this like hitbox that lingers is is always just it just catches, um and it kind of hits below your legend too. So if you do okay I think that was a good example actually we'll see. But if you do something like that, this hitbox if that connects right as someone's coming up over the top, they're getting spiked. Like this hitbox spikes it, it's it's. Uh, I don't know, it's insane. Um, I think it can shoot combo out of there at like really like specific helps. Uh, it's, yeah, it's it's pretty mad. I'm trying to show that off, but obviously this game is, is not wanting me to do that. Can you just come down? No. Nope. There we go. Oh, no, I still can't do it. But yeah, no, it, the fact that it spikes has as much force as it does. You can do things like um, like this. That's, that's really not what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm doing there. That makes more sense. Like that, there we go. I was just pressing the wrong button. I'm so tired. You just gotta allow me. But yeah, it's just instant, and we'll just spike off the wall. Um, you know, hitting like that is just it's it's pretty, it's pretty mad. Honestly, just guitars in general right now are pretty insane. And um, I think it does have another entry, but it's just stuff like this. It just, <laughs> it's it's pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, it kind of has some use on stage, but not really. It's it's mostly like it's off stage potential and just the fact that you can hit one sir, uh, which covers a lot of space, and that's basically the stock done, just because it spikes at that angle. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but um, yeah. Next actually is cannon. That wasn't a guitar's cannon, so I can't, I'm gonna have to just look for a cannon legend. There we go, we got Isaiah. Cannon sir, uh, I think is one of the best sirs in the game. Honestly, it might be a bit of a controversial take, but. It has like uh, moves sorry, that combo out of it. Notably, it has recovery that true combos out of it at certain house. It has mostly, I'm picking this because of the utility, because you can just fly back to stage and stall for so long and still make it back just because of Sair. Like, it's just, it's pretty insane the, the, the coverage you have with this move. And like I said, it has combos out of it. Um, recovery probably being the best one. You can get really, really early KOs with that. Uh, on stage as well, like I said, because it covers so much of distance, it just kind of, it just kind of works. It just kind of hits, and yeah, you, you can do quite a lot out of it. You know, you can get a dare, um, you can get an end light. You, know, you, can, you can do quite a lot. You can do quite a lot. Obviously, they're like high dodging strings, so it's nothing insane. 
But I just I don't know. I think Sir is just a good move now. It's also unjumpable. Oh, side light, but I mean I guess that's a uh, that's points to side light, not not to Sir. But um no, it's it's, uh, it's it's probably one of the best says in the game. I think mostly like I said though, just due to the utility that it has and just getting back to stage, like you're not gonna struggle getting back to stage with this uh with this weapon just because of Sir just because of Sir existing, but yeah, I don't know. I think Cannon Sir. Gotta give it props, gotta give it props. On to end light. I think it's very, very obvious what my pick for this is. It's got to be sword and like, right, like this move is is very insane. It comes out instantly and just has a wall of hitboxes. Like you can just see, okay, I don't know which one was the first frame, but that scared me so much. My speaker just turned off, but yeah, so that's first frame. You can just see the wall of hitboxes. Uh, we can literally count the startup, right? So there, I think there's like, there's not a lot. I know that much. Okay, so where's it start? Where's it start? Where's it start? Um, okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Frame six. <laughs> it comes out and yeah, it's it's pretty insane. You can look at this last hitbox too. That is some 2015 material right there. And uh, yeah, it's it's honestly it's just instant. Like it's just such a good like get off me tool. It hits completely stacked as well, which is always what you love to see. And uh, yeah, I think it's it's pretty undoubtedly the best stand light in the game. It just works for so much stuff. I don't know. You, can, you just can't go wrong with it. Um, second though, I think has to go to uh, Spear. People right now have kind of started to like realize, or not realize, like it's always been known, like how tapped Spear and light is. But you know, lately people are really starting to take advantage of it. Um, I don't know. It's just become matter. Spear and light is. Is honestly the new matter. Uh, it, it shoot combos out of Sir, which is always really good. I think on like higher deck sessions it does anyway. And just on the ground, the priority that this move has is so insane. Not to mention like it comes out basically instantly too. Uh, big like lingering hitbox, but it's not too long where you're gonna get punished by active frames. Like you know you can still you can still just throw it out and probably be safe most of the time. But uh, yeah, no, it's it's honestly it's a really insane move, <laughs> especially for like just doing this over that edge. Like, there's not a lot somebody can do about that. It's 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 really mad. Also, I'm sure you've been hit by like, you know, something stupid like uh, set and light, um, weapon throw and light, weapon throw and light. Like, it's <laughs> I don't know. This move it's just dumb. It's just a dumb move. But uh, yeah, I think um, I think spear definitely is my honourable mention for the end light. Sidelight, I think, has to go to Katars. Um, mostly just due to the disgusting amount of momentum that this uh, move got given lately. Um, I mean, not lately. It was quite a few patches ago. But if you dash now, Sidelight just covers about half the map. <laughs> and it comes out really quick. Also, doesn't have a lot of startup. Like, you can just throw it out. Uh, it's not, like, unpunishable. But it's it, yeah it's not it's not the easiest to punish at the same time you know when guitars have things like n light and d light a lot of the time you're just not going to be able to punish it and uh you know it's definitely a really insane move like against weapons where you know spacing is your main like your main tool or your main defense really guitars can just ruin it completely with uh with a side light all they got to do is dash side light and there's really not much you can do at that point honestly uh i don't know it's just a, it's a pretty insane move also, like, <laughs> imagine SD in training room, but as, like, um, a little, like, a ledge, if you're really confident they're about to go over the edge, if you hit a side, like, here, yet your opponent is, uh, is in a dangerous, dangerous territory, I'm not gonna lie, um, I'll try and kind of, kind of show off, but if you do manage to hit a side, like, there, it's kind of like a 50-50, you know, if they jump, you can sir, if they don't jump, you can dare, sir, and, like, your opponent's just dead at that point. Um, also, obviously, has two combos into end light, which is 27 damage, right? 27 damage for that, um, and easy, easy follow-ups. You know, having Nair cover like most of the dodges after that, um, and the same thing can be said for uh, side light, D light. That is, I don't know how much damage that is. Game's deciding to not tell me. Eight and twelve. It looks like 20, 22, 21, 22. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Gravity cancelled, it works too out of reads. Like, it's a decent tool for catching reads. Um, for example, yeah, if you do like side light, D light, if they dodge in, you can uh, gravity cancel side light and just get even more damage. It's, it's an insane move. Like, it is a really insane move. It's 
the reason that Qatar's are so strong right now is, you know, for sidelines, uh, the ones I've um, gone over. But yeah, it's mostly like the momentum that got added to these moves. It's just, it's, it's a bit mad. I don't know why they tune these moves up as hard as they did, but I mean, still not as bad as Bone Hammer. Um, next best sidelight, in my opinion, back to Bodvar. Gotta be sword. It's just a force field. Like, you know, like it is literally a force field. Um, yeah, here we go. Let's look at these hitboxes. It's just like it hits behind, <laughs> and then there's this. Then there's this final hitbox, which. It... <laughs> why? Why does it hit? Why is th on this hitbox? Why does it hit above? It's um, nobody knows. It's insane. Off of a gravity cancel, it will just like hit. Um, even if you're like up, because you kind of like lose height. Uh, as the gravity cancel goes on, so it's gonna hit like everywhere. And um, yeah, no, it's it's absolutely like out of um, a uh, D like there, it can actually cover so many dodges too. Like basically every single dodge in can be covered with a uh, GC sideline inwards, and then every single dodge away can obviously you know be covered with a GC sideline away. Just an insane move, honestly. Kind of for the same reasons as Qatar's side light. Like, you, you can just, yeah, you can just rush in side light and it's gonna hit really quick. Not as fast as Qatar's side light, but it's still very fast. And, um, yeah, I think I think it's a pretty safe bet saying that this is um one of the best side lights in the game. Also, it is a 50 50 follow up out of it, too. If they jump, um, you can say. And if they fall, you can do the light, which is obviously a lot, a lot of damage. Um, you know, if you do, uh, it'll probably show us. If not, that's quite painful. But yep, no, it doesn't show us. But it's probably like 35, something stupid like that. Pretty insane, pretty insane. For there, I'm. Uh, we have to go for orb, right? Like, it has a lot of uh, unique features too, which I'll talk about. But if you look at the move just by itself, you can see the hitbox that comes out. And it, it's pretty mad. The disjoint on this, like, if you look at how far away your hurtbox is compared to your hitbox, like, <laughs> you're not punishing that at all. And that is, you know, that would be without the uh, insane amount of, um, what's it called? Why is my brain gone dead? <laughs> the, okay, the insane lack, sorry, of, uh, of end lag. Like, you can jump. <laughs> basically instantly like this move is unpunishable if you're using it correctly really good tool for spacing strings into a lot of things you can get like dare into side light true like that which means that dare side light d light's true uh i don't know how much side light d light oh, side light sir even probably do more damage it's 14 plus 18 um um <laughs> 32 uh, yeah, I hope I'm right, but yeah, orb there, absolutely insane. Uh, also has like the properties where if you do something like that, it will bounce off the stage and just give you honest. Like this just hits, it just it just hits. It's basically instant too, and it'll just cover like most of the wall, like 99% of the wall, especially on some maps like Demon Island or Shipwreck. Even though Shipwreck isn't legal anymore, uh, but insane. Um, and then obviously on stage two, you can also do stuff like this where even if you hit it right where you'll be on stage here completely safe while your hitbox is just <laughs> over the stage like that and then yeah you kind of drift backwards so it, you're not getting punished and if it hits like that's an edge guard like they're dead at that point or at least getting sour into death i don't know insane weapon insane move but uh we're on dusk for a reason because i think the second best there it's got to be speared there right like this actual pogo stick um this doesn't happen in game but it just kind of shows off what you can do with spear there i think mostly this we this uh not weapon this move is like an off stage thing like if you use spear there properly your opponent is probably just gonna quit uh because they're gonna get hit by like six off stage not to mention you know egg drops or a thing i don't really think you can egg drop on stage but maybe if he was more damaged it's just insane. It really is. Um, I kind of want to show off of stage, but obviously bots are really weird, so it's not really, <laughs> it's not gonna work. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm sure you lot, I'm sure you lot are, are well aware of what spear players can do <laughs> with this move of stage. Like, it's just once again same as all, but massive disjoint. 
and actually has a, a very, very solid amount of force. And not to mention, you can just follow up a dare of another dare. Like, they can just keep jumping into dares off stage. Uh, but I think the biggest thing is dare, weapon throw down, pick up the weapon, another dare. Like, it just works. I don't know why, but it just does. Uh, insane move. Very, very insane move. I'm not showing it off very well, but like, you know, it's training room. I don't know what you expect. Uh, I think that's everything though. I'm pretty sure. Six moves, yeah. We've gone over everything. Talked about a uh, about an honorable mention. Everything. Don't think I'm missing anything like I did the last time I did a video like this. I completely forgot. Uh, I think I did worse matchups for every weapon. And I forgot about guitars and scythe. <laughs> this time I think I've uh, done a better job though. Anyway, like I said, check out Big Joe. He gave me the idea. I'll hopefully remember to put it in the description. And I hope you enjoyed. Don't know what the next video will be. I need to start pre-recording videos again because I'm going to have to move soon. And I'm going to have absolutely nothing ready. So I need to I need to sort myself out with that. But yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you enjoyed, subscribe, you know, like the video, YouTube stuff. It helped me out. I'd appreciate it. But, um, yeah, peace.